try to settle down with the breath. Because the breath is a good barometer for your state of mind. If something's wrong with the breathing, you might say, well, it's first you want to look to see if there's any physical problems. But then when you get a sense of an even, comfortable breath, and when you start noticing that things are not so comfortable, then you can look in and see, well, maybe it's metal. Maybe there's something stirring around in the mind that's waiting to come out, like the thing underground. Because if you don't catch it in time, these things can take over. If you can catch it in time, you can, you can deal with them when they're small. And sometimes just breathing through the tension in the body can help alleviate, alleviate a lot of the irritation, say, that might go into anger or that might go to looking for some other way of alleviating the tension, like lust or jealousy or whatever the mind loves to, to focus on. In this way, you're on top of things. Otherwise, your emotions take over and you really wonder, well, who's in charge here? It's like those zombie animals. A spider plants itself in a the brain of another another animal and starts controlling the animal. The animal is no longer doing the things that are good for itself. They're more what's good for the spider. And in the same way, your actions may be good for the anger, your th words may be good for the anger, but they may not be good for you. Certainly not good for you if it's under the influence of anger, greed, delusion, whatever. So you want to get on top of these things before they take over. And so you can see what is the appeal here. Oftentimes we find ourselves in the midst of a state of mind, and we wonder how we got here. Well, there was a choice that was being made, and there were certain values that the mind liked about the anger, or liked about the, the lust, or liked about the greed, jealousy, whatever. And if you can see the mind as it's going into these things, catch it in time, you begin to realize, okay, why would I want to follow that? Because a lot of these things are not clearly thought through. They're just urges, but we ride with them. So you have to learn how to step back, use the mind as a good, <coughs> excuse me, use the breath as a good foundation, and keep the breath as normal and as comfortable as possible, so that the slightest disturbances will be easy to detect. That's how you stay in charge. <laughs>